Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are continuing our Telos series. Thank you all so much for the warm welcome of the Telos series in the previous video and all the support that has followed. Let's jump into the video. I don't want to bore you with a bunch of jibber jabber. Let's get into it. So we are going to be continuing our streak from our previous video. If you haven't seen it, the link will be in the video description below. As mentioned in the previous video, I actually haven't done a lot of Telos in a very long time. And it's taking me a little bit of time to get used to that face vibe. <laughs> it's a bit of a pain, but I'm doing my best. I, I am doing my best, I promise. Um, but yeah, it's exciting. Telos is a boss that I just find really, really entertaining. And he's not done very often at all. So yeah, it, it's good fun. I've just about managed to get phases one, two, three down flawlessly. Four, I sometimes mess up, and now we're jumping into another phase five. Phase five is a funny one because I haven't had a lot of practice with Telos, and obviously every time I've ever been here in the past when I've been a beginner, I haven't been 100% enraged. So I'm just about learning that I have to get to the green bean for the adrenaline for the best DPS, really. And then I need to get over to a red or black bean to clear the virus. Otherwise, the tick damage ends up being an awful lot. I just still get hit by the rocks that fall sometimes, which is an absolute pain as well. And I should probably be a little bit smoother with a bit of practice on clearing the minions at the start. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's all a learning curve and you guys are here to watch me learn and also hopefully build a dormant weapon, which is the goal of the series. Considering I'm fairly new to this, it's an absolute buzz even every single time I kill him. What do we get? Some wines of Saradomin. There we go. Let's continue that streak. Another kill down and some crash bird's nest. Uh, I think the Glacor might have ruined that as an exciting drop. <laughs> Next kill. And another kill down on Telos. What are we going to get? Some stone spirits. Blech. Nobody likes stone spirits. No, just, <laughs> nobody likes stone spirits, dude. So there are moments in phase five where I completely panic. I think my DPS is getting too low. I'm missing. Maybe my overload runs off. Maybe I'm just messing things up or I get hit by the boulders. I mess up killing the golems. Like, it, as I said, it's a learning curve, but part of that is what makes it fun and what makes it special so yeah closing in on another telos kill got hit by the rocks again as he says <laughs> luck of the dwarves on let's see what we got for this one okay some more onyx bolt tips so up to 17 kills let's continue the streak just about to finish off our highest in rage ever 200 percent in rage we've just hit which is absolutely awesome and we got some more incandescent energies continue the streak now, unfortunately, this phase four is a perfect example of me flapping around. I end up on really low health. I surge the wrong freaking way. Um, and yeah, I, I just really, really struggle. I didn't heal up properly and I'd messed up things enough. So I normally wouldn't have to heal that much up. Uh, and I do sign when he does his so much power, which unfortunately is a real pain because it's avoidable and I've done it before. But yeah, it, it got the better of me there. So I do sign there. And then unfortunately, again, on the next font, I make a critical, critical error. So I'm now going over to the font. I am going to zoom in on this so you can see. I end up killing the minions with slightly low health. And I go to click on Telos to resume my attacking once these golems are dead. The issue, however, is that he stands up as I click. And I click straight past him. So I walk out the font and I get instant killed. Let's see that on slow motion. So here you can see I'm hovering over him. I'm just about to kill the golems. And literally as he stands up, his arm, I think it is, that moves. Let's let's see this in slow motion. So there you go. I go to click. I click just past him. And I get instant killed because I wasn't standing in the font. So it's not a difficulty thing. It's definitely a me thing. Uh, I messed up. It wasn't that the boss is way too difficult at this enrage. So we can continue past this. But I made a boo-boo. <laughs> Here is our claim, by the way, from that streak. We did hit 20 kills. So, yeah, not bad at all. We we made some money, which is, which is always nice. Fortunately, though, we're not going to let a little thing like dying get in the way of us streaking Telos. So here we are starting a brand new streak. What loot do we get from our first kill? And crash business. <laughs> Next. Next. 
closing in on our highest enraged kill as of yet. Our highest achieved kill is 212%, and as you can see, we are now higher than that. This kill was a little bit of a struggle, I will admit. Uh, I think I messed up a little bit in my rotation, and it got pretty close towards him actually dying or not. But we did get him down, we did kill him. Let's see the loot that we get from our highest enrage kill so far. So just before he absolutely obliterates me, I managed to kill him just there as you can see. And the loot that we get from this is... Wines of Saradomin. So 220% achieved. We're going to hit that continued challenge and pick this up again soon. So everybody, it's another day and we are continuing our Telos streak. Previously, we got up to, I mean, previously is going to be like seconds ago for you, but this is like days and days later for me. Phase 5 is becoming more and more challenging, but I have worked out how to use my immortality switch if I manage to fail on the DPS to down him in one single cycle on the last phase, which is really, really cool. That's obviously going to help a lot for pushing in the rages later, because if I ever have had to do that, it's because I've made a mistake and he's dead really, really quickly. So in those times where I make two perfect runs, it should be flawless, right? So I'm, pre I'm pretty confident that we'll be, we'll be fine pushing higher in rages from here. The only thing I need to worry about is obviously making sure it's flawless on a streak. Otherwise, I lose it. So I can't die on any of my streaking. And of course, if I mess up my own rotations anyway to lower the damage and things like that. So we don't want that either. However, still enjoying Telos, having an absolute blast and pushing the enrage higher than it's ever, ever been. I've had an absolutely, ab sorry, absolutely great time grinding Telos and pushing the enrage here. And I hope you guys are enjoying the journey as well. Of course, this is only the second episode and I can tell that you guys are enjoying it, which is absolutely awesome so yeah i'm really glad that you guys are enjoying it as well because it's pushing my boundaries too improving at runescape is something i've wanted to do for ages and being able to do this with all of you guys means an absolute ton it gives me inspiration to do it more to dive into the deep end a little bit more with some of the harder content in the game in the first place i'm pretty sure if i wasn't making youtube videos i probably would have shied away from doing things like this like hard mode zuck like hard mode carapack i probably would have still been like oh well you know, it doesn't matter, it's not the end of the world kind of thing. Whereas, because I've been doing this, it's encouraged me to try and be better. So it's been an absolute blast. And through all of that long speech I've just given you, we've just got another kill on Telos. So let's see what loot we get with our Luck of the Dwarves. Oh, 300 small bladed rune salvage. Holy crap. Okay, next kill. Let's go. What I mean by the immortality switch, everybody, is that blue bar underneath his health if you guys don't know, many of you will, but for those of you that don't, when that reaches maximum like bar, like when that blue bar above him, sorry, below his health goes all the way up, he ends up doing an instant kill mechanic. But if you use immortality in within that time frame when you hit, get hit with the insta kill, you don't sign and you don't die. You just get resurrected with 4,000 health or whatever and recharge that blue bar, which essentially gives you two DPS phases by using immortality. So it's an absolute gem. Getting that down is obviously going to save me an absolute ton in the future, but we've got another kill down. Let's pop our luck of the doors on and see what we managed to grab ourselves this time. Even more crush bird's nest. Glacor has ruined bird's nests, everybody. Absolutely ruined them. Also, guys, in the comments down below, do let me know if you guys are learning Telos or want to learn Telos. I have had quite a few comments on my Discord, sorry, messages on my Discord, comments on the YouTube video and some private messages as well requesting how to do Telos. And I would be more than happy to show you what I know, the, my knowledge share. Everything I'm doing now, you'd be able to do yourself if I did a guide. Of course, I'm not insane. I'm not getting 500 i haven't got to 500 in rage although i believe i will i haven't done you know these 4k in rage crazy stuff but that's not what you need to learn a boss you don't go into a boss in order to do everything absolutely flawlessly every single time but i will be able to help you get killed so if you're interested in a guide drop it in the comments down below <laughs> oh telos is fun i mean he's an absolute menace in some ways this is actually a really good example guys he actually does his so much power here and i normally try and stand inside the green beam but instead i managed to get myself up to maximum adrenaline and then use immortality you will see me press it just here there you go and as he's charging this he will fully charge look like he's not doing anything and then that orb will just fire off at you 
and then bang, instant kill, but the immortality brings me straight back up with 4,000 life. So we're good to go again. And then as you can see, his blue bar has reset and that gives you another DPS phase. You do get more golems, but they're not a problem, obviously, because he's almost dead. So as soon as you kill him, that's done. Luck of the dwarves on, click that claim reward. What are we gonna get this time? Even more incandescent energy. We're over, look at our enrage, guys. We're, we're doing really, really well. So here we are, guys, approaching our final kill, our final fifth phase of this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as well. The first video got so much support and I hope that only continues to grow. Do let me know your thoughts and comments on the stuff we've talked about during this video as well. And I just can't wait for that feeling when I get my first unique from Telos. Of course, I've never had one because I've never pushed my boundaries at all. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited to get to see what what is you know that feeling of getting a rare drop especially on a boss like tell us where you know you've got a you've got to try and it is going to be difficult in order to get it and there you have it some cash our first cash of this cash pile hopefully we can continue this streak until we get a scrolly bar because that looks really really cool i've seen loads of top players get that and that looks exciting um yeah 22 kills and 282% in rage rapidly approaching that 300% in rage mark i could not be happier so there you have it everyone, that is the end of episode 2, thank you all so much for watching, you guys have all been absolutely amazing, we're approaching 500 subs and I cannot wait for that because I'll be able to start asking my community questions about more content that they, that they would like to see and then hone in on more of the stuff that I know you guys want, rather than just trying to guess and you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> but yeah, thanks again guys, thanks for taking part and watching this video and supporting me and I'll see you all in the next video.